Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. What's going on on this homestead? Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. That is quite the pea patch, Linda. Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead is showing a great balance of chickening and gardening. In fact, Linda has a fairly large container garden. Okay, so this is the bed I'm gonna start with. So I got my wagon with my little cart and I have a, um, milk crate that I'm going to use to put the weeds in as I'm pulling them out. She tackles a lot of garden problems in her uploads. Here is another one that I gave a hard prune. Still, I see some stuff I should have taken off at the bottom of this plant. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. That one, I see why I left that one. Because it had a tomato hanging on it. But I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And then I'll go ahead and take these tomatoes. Yeah, I love tomatoes. Oh. From cardboard boxes turned into heels to all sorts of vegan goodies. Yummy. Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead is one that's going to grow on you. <laughs> Check it out. Bogolee's keeping it real. <laughs> Let's start you off with a tall tale. Just kidding. It I uh, got out of work. I wasn't planning on going fishing. I had to stop by the river house to uh, pick something up. Sometimes people just stop and fish oh, on a whim. Right there, good boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 42 inch musky, guys. 42 inch. Yeah. There you go, baby. That's for you, live the fish. All right, guys. We're about 16 pounds. The blood is not from the musky. Well, it's from the musky, but it's my blood. <laughs> Bet Chris is rethinking that spontaneity right about now. All right, so let's <laughs> We got 16 pounds, 42. Oh my. <laughs> she goes. There she goes. Good girl. I'll take all this blood. All right, guys. I got my first aid kit. You want to see reviews or testing out of lures and guys, tackles? Guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and try out these lures here from Freshwater Fishing Hub. Let's see what this... Whopper plopper. <laughs> Whopper plopper. Sounds like it might be yeah, an important phrase. It too. Put it in the comments to be into a giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. Occasionally, you'll even see something fishy, like this eel. Whether you're there for the love of catch and release, or you're just wanting to see someone else get his pole snapped. <laughs> get the latest catch with Bogolis keeping it real. The Tilted Crown Gourmet. If there's a formal gathering dish everyone loves to hate, the Tilted Crown Gourmet can make it a total knockout. Come along and let's dip our toes in together in molecular gastronomy. Place your olive oil into a freezer-friendly tall container. Then place them into the refrigerator until needed. I would like to thank you for continuing to watch the Tilted Crown Gourmet. This isn't just a channel for the snooty patootie foodie. The Tilted Crown Gourmet has family favorites as well. Add seven grams of salt, one gram of black pepper. Now, a trick for proofing your dough is to place it in the oven and turn the light on with the door closed. I use about a teaspoon-ish. Add that to our stock. Turn off your heat, put in your fresh thyme, serve. Garnish with additional fresh thyme, Want a classier version of the Jello shot? Place 10 ounces of your champagne of into you your do. saucepan and chill and refrigerate it for at least one hour. And dip one side into your sugar or sprinkles. Then display. Even if you want a gastronomic experience from around the world, 
No matter your preference, there's something on Chef Lonnie's channel to jazz up your table and your palate. Check out the Tilted Crown Gourmet, that gardening, chickening homestead, taking the Delaware River by storm, whopper plopper, <laughs> gourmet dishes that are a total knockout. Are these your people?